Today we're gonna do some photo manipulation and we're gonna melt two heads together in a more retro style here in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go with these two images as a reference and I'm gonna go select subject. Now let's go to the quick selection tool and select the minus. I'm gonna deselect some of these areas. So it's gonna select only the head. I'm gonna select the plus and just try to select only the head area. And now let's go and click on a mask. Let's go and select the brush tool and eliminate the unnecessary stuff. I can increase the hardness. You can press and hold shift, make it straight and eliminate the unnecessary areas. You also can swap it from black to white. With the white, you can paint back some of the areas. There you go. First one done. Let's go to the second one. Do the same thing. Now I'm going to select this head. Go to the next tab right here and drag it in. Let's select the crop tool. Press and hold alt and stretch the artboard out, double click release, arrange the heads, and I'm gonna right click on the layer, convert smart object, do the same with the second, press control T, and I'm gonna scale this up a little bit more. I'm gonna right click on this, flip horizontal, double click release, and I'm gonna position it maybe something like this. And now we're gonna try to meld these guys together. Now I'm gonna select the first one, and let's go to filter, liquify, I'm going to go with these settings, size, density, pressure. And what I'm going to do is go to the eye and just stretch it a little bit more down, something like this. I'm going to do the same thing with the mouth. Stretch it all out and with the nose as well. Click OK. And now I'm going to go and add a mask and make sure to be on this mask. I'm going to select the brush tool, make sure you're on the black and scale it up, decrease the hardness and I'm going to delete some of these areas. So we're going to try to meld these together. Now I'm going to select the second layer, go to the filter, liquify and we're going to do the same process. I'm going to try to bring this eye like this and also the mouth and the nose. Looks pretty freaky, let's click OK. So it seems like slowly it's going to do its magic. I'm going to right click on the first one. Let's go to convert smart object, press control T and I'm going to rotate it and try to make it match with the second head. I'm going to go to liquify again and just try to stretch it in a little bit more. Try to correct some of the areas. I'm going to add another mask, select the brush and repaint. I'm also going to add the background, solid, OK, drag it to the bottom and I'm going to double click on the thumbnail and I'm going to copy paste this blue. There it is. I'm going to press and hold shift, select all layers, right click, convert a smart object. By the way, this is my current artboard size and I'm thinking to reduce it to 4000. Click OK. And I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Let's go with the first layer. Now we're going to go to the filter, filter gallery. And we're going to go to the sketch, select the reticulation first. I'm going to go with these settings. Let's click on plus here to add another filter. Click on the half tone pattern. And I'm going to increase the contrast somewhere in the middle, increase the size as well. I'm going to try out these options. Let's click OK. Now let's go to the blend mode and here you can change up the blend mode however you like. You can find some pretty cool blend modes but I'm going to go with the soft light. You also can increase or decrease the contrast by going to the opacity and decreasing it or increasing it. Now it made it way better. I'm going to also add some noise, press and hold alt, click on the plus, create a new layer, redeem it as noise, go to the mode, change it to overlay, make sure to check fill with overlay neutral color, click OK. Right click on the layer, convert a smart object, go to filter, noise, add noise. And here you can adjust the noise and put as much noise as you want. I'm going to make it nice and high, click OK. And that's how I stick these two heads together here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.